So due to the Ibuki 6 frame invincibility glitch off for air throw, I thought I'd throw in my own glitch that could maybe be patched out. This is Zangief's EX Air Borsh Dynamite, or the regular, and I'd like to show the two different versions and how this glitch happened. So first I'd like to show the glitch. Uh, I set recordings, and I'll explain how they work near the end of the video just so that you can get the gist. So, as you can see, this was a trade. Uh, the right Zangief took no damage for being thrown, while I took full damage. And the only benefit to this trade is that it does push back the right Geef, but you don't actually get any damage whatsoever. It's like they block an attack. Um, now, if you do the regular version, it does work. So why does this happen? Why does the regular version work, but not the EX? And this is because the EX version actually has a strike hitbox, meaning that it interacts with hurt boxes instead of grab boxes, while the regular versions are all air throws. They work with the grab boxes. Now, the reason that they gave EX version a strike hurt box is so that it could hit very far away. Like, I tried to do that, no, it's not gonna work. But because it'll catch the foot hitbox, the EX version will work. So that's what it's for. But the problem is that because it's a strike hitbox, if two active strikes collide on the same frame, they'll trade. However, two active, a throw and a strike, the throw will always win. If they both activate on the same frame, the throw will always win. And there are other ways to showcase this, which I can do later in the video, but this is why the regular version works and the EX one does not. Also, if I do it wrong, it'll just say counter hit for both of them. See, it'll always work. Um, medium will not work at this range. Um, and this is basically the gist of the video if you're ready to tab out. Um, but this is the same exact idea. Uh, it hits on the same frame, but the distance allows me to do medium. But EX will not work. It'll either trade, and it won't say counter hit, it'll trade, or you get counter hit. So, um, how did I figure this stuff out, and how did I get a stable environment? Well, that is what I'm going to explain now. So, um, first I created five different recordings of five different normals, which I will run through later. But the main thing you'll see is that I do a knee and the other, uh, and the bot does a medium punch. The medium punch lasts eight or 19 frames, while the Russian knee lasts 27 frames, making an eight frame distance. However, in this specific scenario, um, there's a certain amount of distance to add a certain number of frames to. It's about two to three. It depends on the move. So even though it doesn't, you may do it mathematically and be like, well, this doesn't add up. It's because of the distance. So. Um, what I did is I went through each and every normal, and first off, it took a lot of trial and error to figure out the medium punch and Russian knee worked with this, but, um, to showcase the differences in how one works and the other doesn't, um, I'd like to first show stand light punch, or jump light punch, which hits the very fastest out of all Zangief's air normals. It also goes the furthest. So... Um, in this case, if I go in the air, it'll always counter hit on frame one, meaning that both SPDs do not work. This is fine. However, another thing that you may not have known is that for all EX moves in this game, you do not burn a uh, meter until the second active frame or second startup frame. So this means that no matter how much I try, it will not burn the meter. Which is good. I mean, that means, hey, I get counter hit, but at least. And if I do it too late, it's just going to say no attacks happen because, well, I was, too, I was too slow. And I'm already in hit stun by the time I press the button. So this next one um, will hit on the second frame. Neither will work, but I can burn the meter, as you can see down below. You'll see me flash if I do it right. And I'll burn the meter. Now, if I do the regular one, nothing will happen. I'll just get counter hit as well. Which, this is fine. This is how it's intended to be with EX moves. You know, in order to really frame trap them, you have to get them out, you know, the second frame. But that can help your frame trapping skills too. Um, 
So this is the, the the real one. This was the one that I saw hit on the next frame, and that's how it collided. On once it activates on the third frame, it the EX one trades, but the light one wins. So it's very weird how that happens, but that's because of the strike hurt boxes. So the best way to patch this would to simply give the EX Air SPD, you know priority over other strikes and maybe even throws depending on how far you want to go i'd almost say maybe yes to throws because then that makes it better the ex version wins because it's better um but basically you can give it the priority that like you know fierce attacks beat medium medium beat light throws beat strikes just give it that priority and that could be a way to fix this glitch if you don't want to do that maybe you can make um the way the animation works is I mean it does 50 and then it does 200 or it does 150 so you could maybe make the first if it does that maybe make it do 50 damage so that's like a more lenient route if you really insist on leaving this trade in the game but the fact that it does no damage is kind of annoying so um to go further there are more normals that I'd like to show um Oh, no, 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 this one also worked, but um, it hits on the same frame. Now, the difference is the, the, the jump roundhouse starts up in 9 frames, this starts up in 7, but the way they hit, they hit at the same exact moment, but the fierce will be, the um, grab box will be much closer. As you can see, the difference between the moves, that, and hopefully it'll play it. Yeah, see the difference. So, geese back there versus right there. So... Um, and then the last one, this one was one frame off, and that's why I like this one. So that will work, but if you do it too late, you can still get the trade. But this means that you actually have two frames to land the regular version, but only one frame to land the EX version, because of what I said before. It is likely to trade, and this has an impact because, well... What you get off an air EXSPD is after dash, you get a plus, oh. Well, if he quicks, gets up. Well, you're plus two. So compared to the regular version, you don't get as much of an advantage. So the fact that this happens seems like it's more of a design bug. It seems like it's not how it was intended to go. And there are actually other instances of this happening for instance, Lara's DP, but it'll do a little bit of damage at the beginning. Um, her, yeah, the one that goes up, there, there's like, you know, it, it's that special move. And then uh, Armika's strike throw will actually do the same thing. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions on how I did this, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. I think this was the most reliable way to showcase this glitch and that it was stable and that it was with a dummy. So... Um, please let me know in the comments, uh, be sure to subscribe, I also have a Twitch, so, thank you.